In this video, I will explain how to do final preparations for your digital print poster to make sure that all of your colors overprint properly on the white underbase that will be printed on the black paper. So this right here is an example piece of art submitted by a student, and you'll see that there's already some setup done. The illustration is complete, and the illustration is on one layer. It's called Jake. There's also a layer called text that has the text on it. And then there's a third layer called white underbase. This is perfectly appropriate. If I hide these layers, command A, you can see all of the shapes that are on the first two artwork layers have been repeated and they've been filled and stroked with, or at least filled with this white spot color that will be sent to the rip so that the uh, press prints a white underbase underneath this. So everything is structured correctly, but it's not quite ready to send to print because my objects up on top, on the top layers, are not set to overprint. Overprint is very important when you're talking about printing two colors on top of each other. By default, when you draw an illustrator, objects are not set to overprint. You can see in the attributes panel whether it's set to overprint. Up here, overprint and fill and stroke is not selected when I select any of these shapes like the head or the text, the overprint is not turned on. So my first step is to turn it on because I want everything on the top layers to overprint on top of the white underbase. So I'm going to lock my underbase layer, select everything, and I'm going to select overprint fill and overprint stroke. So technically, my file should be ready to print. I can test this very easily by changing temporarily my white spot color to 100% magenta and turning over print preview on. This will give me a preview of what it should look like when it is printed. So I turn it on and you'll notice I have some problems. Don't pay too much attention to the color. It's dark red because now that magenta is blending in with the yellow and creating this color. But what I'm noticing is that I have problems with shapes overlapping. My mouth is sticking out here. My, You can see a little bit of transparency here in his eye. The ear is overlapping weird. I shouldn't see this black stroke here. I'm missing my big white eyeball. So I have several issues here that I shouldn't be seeing. Well, the problem is Illustrator has a problem rendering or dealing with overprints when you have multiple objects stacked on top of each other before they get to the bottom layer. So even though we have a white underbase and everything above it is set to overprint, you have a bunch of objects above that white layer that are interacting with each other and aren't playing nice. There is a logical way to fix this. First thing I'm going to do is change my white ba back to only white. And I'm going to add another layer, activate that layer. And I'm going to go ahead and just temporarily, I'm going to create a black box in the background. And this is mimicking my paper. So this is uh, putting a black shape back there so that when all of my ink is separating down, it previews the way it should print. So this black box represents my paper. And now you can see that while I still have overprint preview on, it's actually previewing the exact way that it, this will print if it was printed now directly onto black paper. You can see he'll have black going through his eye. You've got a little bit of weird transparency going on here. His mouth is overlapping with his snout. His teeth are red instead of white. Those are all issues that I need to fix. If I turn overprint preview off, you can see what it should look like and I turn it back on, this is what it will look like. So this is how you fix these problems. I'm going to take my direct selection tool and I'm going to select my topmost shapes that I'm having problems with. So the first shape I'm going to do is this snout shape right here. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. And what I'm going to do is I want to create a white shape with my spot color directly behind it. So I'm going to do Command C and Command B. That's going to paste a second copy of the snout directly behind the first copy. And while I still have that selected, I'm going to fill it with white, that spot color white, and I'm going to turn off overprint fill 
an overprint stroke. So now what I have is a color shape of his snout. I'm going to move it just to show you. I have a color shape of his snout that is set to overprint. And before it has a chance to interact with any of the objects below it, it's hitting a shape that is set to not overprint and to be filled with my solid white spot color. I'm going to undo that. So now that I've done that, that fixed a lot of problems going around the edges here with the mouth. And now I'm going to do that for every single object. So now I'm going to take my tooth here, Command C, Command B. I'm going to fill it with white. I'm going to turn off overprint fill and overprint stroke. I'm going to take my tooth here and Command C, Command B. Turn off overprint stroke. It was already filled with white. These these teeth were already white. So I don't technically have to fill them with white, but that's it still gives good practice to do that. Command B, white, overprint fill, overprint stroke. Okay, I've got a problem with my ear here. Okay, so I'm gonna do my ear, command C, command B, fill with white, turn off overprint fill, overprint stroke. I've got my eyeball here and I'm going to command C, command B, white, overprint fill, overprint stroke. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out. And now I can easily tell where I still have problems by turning my overprint preview on and off. Right now it's on, I'm gonna turn it off. And if I go back and forth and you just look around, you'll see I have two problems. So the most obvious one is that here in his ear, this part of his ear is still sticking out. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I what I did was I duplicated this ear and put a base behind it. But what I'm realizing what I should have done is duplicated his face. Because that is over top of his ear. So I'm going to copy that. Command B. Fill with white. Overprint fill. Overprint stroke. That's fixed. What you may not have noticed is that there's also an issue with his mouth. Notice as I turn this on and off his tongue slightly changes color. Okay, That's because that pink is interacting with the red and I don't want it to. So I'm going to command C, command B, white, overprint fill, overprint stroke. And now when I turn overprint preview on and off, that color does not shift. One more time, I'm zooming out, turning it on and off. I don't see any problems. So now my artwork is ready to print and all of my colors will print correctly over top of white. I don't want to include this black layer in here, so I'm going to get rid of that. And actually, just to be helpful to the print press operator, they actually prefer that we submit this with the spot color filled with 100% magenta. I'm going to leave the spot color labeled white, but I'm going to leave it filled with 100% magenta. And then I'm going to go ahead and do file, save. And there you have it. This artwork is ready to print.